everyone, happy spring. So I'm so happy it's finally April. March was another really good month for me and I hope you all had a great Easter and a great start of spring or Passover or whatever you celebrate. So I don't have many beauty favorites this month, but that's what I'm gonna start with. That's a lot of like body, actually like hair stuff. I've been doing a lot of like, I don't know, things that take effort with my hair lately and also I got my iPhone back so make sure you follow me on my Instagram because I'm gonna be posting a lot more like more frequently like I used to I haven't had it for the past five months so when I was posting it was from my iPad so it wasn't as often and also my favorite app of the month is Cocoa Pa where um, I made all my apps all cute and adorable so yesterday I actually filmed a tutorial on how to use that app and how to make your phone all pretty so make sure you check that out if you're interested so my first beauty favorite was actually in my empties video I just uploaded it's the Urban Decay all nighter long lasting makeup setting spray and I have this mini version and actually I ran out that's why it was in my empties so I relabeled it on the back it's like a Clinique moisture surge spray but this stuff really really worked really well I was having issues with my face makeup looking like blotchy and kind of like disappearing on like my forehead and my nose and kind of oily areas by the end of the day but this helps that problem a lot so I'm going to need to get this or another hopefully drugstore <laughs> makeup setting spray if I can find any um, and it smelled really nice so I really liked that it did the job well I think I talk about it more in my empties video and next is my Falsies Black Drama by Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. Now, I have had this for, I think like two years now, because I know I, I used it in my Slytherin makeup tutorial, which was ages ago. Um, and I used to hate this so much, and obviously, oh, the color is Black Drama, obviously. Um, so the tube is really cute, it has like this iridescent blue, purpley shade and I used to be really intimidated by it because the brush is huge and chunky and looks like it would hurt if you stabbed yourself in the eye so like I wouldn't use it on my lower lashes but um I've been using this a lot lately one of my um <laughs> monthly favorite youtubers Nicole Grace was using this in some of her videos so I wanted to give it a try again because it made her eyelashes look amazing and I'm wearing it right now um, I find, I don't know if it's this or my eyeliner or like something I'm doing different with my makeup, but like my eye makeup has been smudging underneath my eye by the end of the day. So I think it's this, so I don't like that about it, but I do like how I can get volume and length and darkness so much quicker with this mascara than I can with the cat eye one. With that one I kind of have to like sit there and build it up for a while. So this one's so much faster in the morning I can just whip it on and um, it makes your bottom lashes look really dark so you kind of have a smokier looking eye without having to do any smoky. So I like this. Go check it out if you want fast volume and dark lashes really quickly. Next this is a new purchase that I actually didn't ever haul. Um, I got this from Sephora the other day. Um, it's the Buxom Big and Healthy Lip Cream. So it says Tingle, Plump and Shine, Ultra Smooth, blah, blah, blah. And I have mine in the color Cherry Flip. And I believe this is around $19, which is horrible. Oh, don't, don't even want to think about it. But I was just so in love with it, I decided to treat myself. So the packaging is adorable. Has like the metallic wording and then like a frosted finish so this is like a bright red lip gloss <laughs> and the swatches begin it's really pigmented it has your typical dough tip applicator and then there you go I don't know why I did that twice it's a really gorgeous kind of like um corally red and um it just feels so good when you put it on. I tried it on in the store and I had to go back and try it on again while I was in the mall. And then I eventually ended up buying it because it just felt so good. Like you know how when you put on plumping lip glosses and you're like, oh yeah, it's tingling. And then that lasts for about like five minutes. This one will last like hours, like pretty much the whole entire time you wear it it will be tingly and it gives your lips this gorgeous nicely pigmented red color which is pretty for like this springy time of year and it adds a lot of I don't know, I'm really pale, so it adds a lot to my face. When I have like the red lips, I've been really into that kind of thing. So that is just plain gorgeous. I've been loving to wear that on its own, no red lipstick or anything. These are um, some makeup removing towelettes. I've tried so many different brands, so many different kinds of different brands. Um, and this is the one I've been using this past month. I just ran out last night. It's the Pond's Evening Soothe Wet Cleansing Towelettes with Chamomile and White Tea. 
so you get 30 in here and it just it smells so good it, it works just as well as any other ponds um, maker remover I think they're so much better than like the CVS or other store brand ones even the Neutrogena ones they don't sting my eyes which most um, makeup removers do but this I can still smell it. it smells like lavender and chamomile like it says it just I smell it and I go oh the night time to go to sleep like it's so it does exactly what it says it will and I don't know why it came with the box but this is about um, seven dollars and change I think which is only like a dollar more than the CVS brand and I think it's so much better it smells so good it does such a good job and I feel like they're more moisturizing because normally when I use makeup removing towelettes I want to wash my face immediately after but these don't really dry out my face as much they don't make it feel as oily I think they like give it moisture and stuff and there's like a truck delivering mail like not like a UPS truck like a pickup oh this that's sketchy they're probably watching me through my window like what is that girl doing my next favorite is one of the shadows from the Urban Decay um, Deluxe Shadow Box. This palette came out a while ago, but um, it's really cute. This palette isn't new or anything, but I just recently ordered it off the website. Um, it has nine of their deluxe eyeshadows in it, and it's gorgeous. I wanted to palette with a lot of bright colors in it. I didn't haul this either. Wow, I've been getting so many things I haven't hauled. Aren't you proud of me? So. Um, the bottom row is all these gorgeous neutrals, and I like all of them, but my absolute favorite has been this scratch one. Just this gorgeous, like, rose gold champagne. Wow, I'm swatching on the wrong hand. So it's this gorgeous, like, rose gold champagne, like I said, color. It looks so good on the um, inner corner, and I use it just as a lid color, and it just gives you, like, that nice girly shimmer without being, like, over-the-top pigmented. Like, it does have pigmentation, but it's not, like, bam, bright gold or anything, you know? It's just, like, a subtle little pretty girly touch. I've been liking that a lot. It's a gorgeous color for spring. So my last um, makeup-y favorite is from... The Urban Decay Oz Great and Powerful Glinda Palette, and I agonized forever over whether to get the Theodora or the Glinda Palette, and I will be doing a tutorial and possibly a review on this palette. I like it a lot. So this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. I've been using it a lot lately. I've been doing a lot of purple looks, so I do like pretty much all of the colors. But I'd have to say my all-time favorite out of them is this palette is really cool. You can like pop out the shades. Um, this one is Aura. And they do this thing with this palette where it's a split shade, so you see the two different colors on the back. And it's kind of hard to tell what they look like in here. You're like, oh, okay, it's a white, and one's more pink, and one's more blue. But when you actually put them on and swatch them, it's like magic. This is the blue side, and this one's like my favorite. Like, if you get it in the right light, it's like the same color as my nails. It's this gorgeous, like, lavender color. I'm wearing it in the inner corner and the inner part of my lid and probably, like, right here today as well. It's just so pretty. Like, you can see it on my finger. It looks really white on camera, but it has, like, a blue, purple, bright um, iridescence. It's just a gorgeous lavender color that totally opens up your eyes. And then the other peachy color in there... That looks really white, but when you put it on, it has like a magenta um, duochrome. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, so I will take pictures of those swatches because they're just gorgeous. They look, they're not white at all. They like definitely are different colors. So that one is really, really cool. It's probably my favorite in this whole palette. My next favorite I've been using all winter long, and it is still kind of a springy thing, but it's a Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer in um, winter spice and vanilla, and I love it so much. It smells really, really vanilla-y. Like, you'll put it on your hands, and it's really strong. It will, like, <laughs> make the whole room smell like vanilla, so make sure you like vanilla before you try it. But um, it just smells so, so good. It I wear it on my hands and then I'm like, oh, who's baking cookies? Like it, it smells so good and it will last a really long time. So I've been in love with that scent. So next for body, I actually have three Aveeno products I want to share with you guys. And this video isn't sponsored at all. Um, I've just been like in love with these. My mom got me totally hooked on all this Aveeno stuff she was buying. So I had to go out and buy some of my own because she wasn't letting me use her lotion anymore because I was totally hogging it on her. An influencer just had me actually take a pre-qualification survey for something, and I think it was an Aveeno like skin thing. So I really hope they pick me because I'm like in love with this brand. Um, 
So the first thing is their daily moisturizing body wash. It says helps replenish skin's natural moisture for visibly healthier skin and it has oatmeal in it. This is the 12 ounce bottle and it says um, dermatologist recommended which is how my mom found out about this stuff. Her a dermatologist did recommend the body wash and the um, lotion, I think because she had dry skin or something, I don't remember. But this stuff is just amazing. We just bought this probably like a month ago, maybe two, and it's like almost empty already. It feels like it's like down to here. Um, but it just smells really nice, natural. It doesn't like smell like gross, like oatmeal. It just smells like really natural and clean and just like warm and nice. I guess it kind of smells like wheat or something if you really like smell it for a long time. But this has just made my skin feel so nice. I got the worst winter skin. I've been having this horrible rash on like my arms and stuff this year. That's just been awful and this has helped it heal a lot. So I really really like that stuff. It's good if you have like skin conditions or just really dry skin or just want to keep your skin nice in general. So my mom bought a giant pump of this stuff and um, I ended up buying my own tube. So this is the eight ounce tube of their daily moisturizing lotion, which says it's clinically proven to relieve dry skin, moisturizes for 24 hours, fragrance free, and this has the natural colloidal oatmeal as well. And this just smells really nice. Just like really natural. Like it smells like something you'd buy at Whole Foods. And um, I think this is normally like six something. And um, I was at CVS and we had a dollar off any Aveeno product or any two Aveeno product coupons, something like that. And a bunch of Aveeno stuff was two for ten that week. So that's how I bought the both of these. They're only five dollars. Um, and this little one is their Skin Relief Hand Cream Intense Moisture. It says therapeutic, helps soothe and moisturize dry skin, also has the oatmeal. So this is the little 3.5 ounce. And this is like so thick but not in a gross way. Like I hate greasy hand creams more than like anyone I know. And this just feels really nice. Like I'll get out of the shower, moisturize my skin, do my hair, and then I'll just put this in my hands and then they will feel fresh too. Just makes you feel really fresh and clean and just like springy, moisturized. Like it feels so, so good. I I love this stuff so much. And it's a cute little travel size, but you still get a whole bunch of product in here. So I'm almost done with all my favorites. I have two hair things I wanted to share with you guys real quick. Um, as you saw in my empties, I ran out of my conditioner I was using. So I've just been using this little sample size I've had since summer that was sent to me from Influencer in the summer beauty Vox box, I think. So this is the Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy Total Care Nourishing Daily Moisturizer, oh, moisturizer Conditioner. So I've been using this. And I really hate to use it up. I have this and the shampoo. They're little three ounce bottles. And the reason I love this is because it makes my hair feel so soft. Like it looks so shiny and healthy here, which is ridiculous because I've been using so much heat on it lately and I don't like wash it that often. Like not in a gross way. I just can't wash it that often because my scalp gets so dry and the more I wash it, the more it gets dried out and stuff like that. And my hair doesn't get greasy super fast. Um, I feel like that's like a new trend. Like people are waiting longer to wash their hair. Like a lot of my friends have been like, oh yeah, it's been like three or four days since I washed my hair and it still looks fine. And I'm like, yeah, me too. So um, this, I, I love this. It makes it feel so soft and moisturized. It's like that Aveeno stuff for my hair. Um, and I've also been using a deep moisturizer. I've been taking really good care of it because I want to um, grow it out. It looks really long right now, but I want it to be like a little longer. Look here, so that's been my mission lately to keep it nice and healthy. This stuff just smells amazing along with working so well. Like it smells like apples or something. Like not, like I'm not really an apple person, but like it smells like apples and pears. It just smells so good, like and floral too. And whenever I put this, or use this to wash my hair and the shampoo. My boyfriend always notices. He loves the smell of it. I never really noticed it until he said something. Then I was like, wow, it does smell really good. So I love that. It makes your hair smell so good for days. My hair product, my other hair product is something new. I tried, I bought it the same time as the Aveeno. I think this was on sale for $4 at CVS that week. All the got to be stuff was. So this is the Smooth Operator with Cashmere Leave-In Luster Lotion. 
So this I feel like was really popular like four or five years ago when I was in middle school and everyone and their sister and their mother and their aunt had this stuff in their bathroom. But so I finally wanted to try it out because my um, leave-in conditioner slash detangler wasn't really detangling. I feel like it wasn't doing anything for my hair and I, like I said I've been trying to keep it really healthy. So I've been using this stuff and this smells amazing as well. It smells like perfume, but not like overpowering. It smells like, like a Victoria's Secret body spray. <laughs> like it smells so good. So it's just like a lotion, and you put this in your hair instead of spraying in a leave-in conditioner, and it leaves it really glossy. And my hair has just felt so healthy since I've been using this, so I really, really love it. It was worth the $4. So my food favorite this month, I don't think I've done one of those in a while, but I've been in love with this. It's the Dan & Oikos Traditional Greek Yogurt in Toasted Coconut Vanilla. Doesn't that look delicious? Like, you can tell I'm obsessed with vanilla, but I also love coconut. Not everyone likes coconut, so not everyone's gonna like this, but it's just, like, delicious. I bought, like, four of these, and I only had one left, and I've been, like, saving it for, like, a week so I could film this video. It's just delicious. Like, it tastes like you're eating cake. Like, it's so sweet and good, and it's still pretty healthy for you. It has 22% protein in it, which is good because I'm a vegetarian, so I get all the protein I can get. So those are all my March 2013 favorites. Thank you guys for watching. And um, if you have any video requests or anything, definitely leave me comments below. I love comments so much. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye.